Project Development and Promotion of a Common Natural Heritage Product Root Protected Natural Heritage within the cross-border region Romania-Bulgaria is co-financed by the European Union through European Regional Development Fund under the Interreg 5A Romania-Bulgaria Programme. Development and promotion of a common natural heritage product aims to increase the sustainable use of common natural resources in the Romania-Bulgaria border area by developing a common tourism heritage product. The protected natural heritage within the cross-border area Romania-Bulgaria route, but also the campaign for the common preservation, promotion and development of this route. The project was initiated by the Association of Danube River Municipalities Danube in Bulgaria in partnership with the Natura Vie Foundation in Romania. According to the preliminary studies and the debates carried out within the project, it was found that within the border regions there are a number of protected natural sites, parks and nature reserves included in a network of Danube parks with management plans integrating tourism management sections. It has also been found that a more targeted approach is needed in the cross-border region to attract more tourists to promote and enhance the common natural heritage through the sustainable management of the ecosystems existing here. Thus, 30 natural areas in Romania and 30 natural areas in Bulgaria were selected and analyzed to be included in the ecotourism routes identified in the project. Below, we will present you the main ecotourism route, the most important natural heritage objectives, which have the strongest tourist attractiveness, reviewing all 60 natural areas in Romania and Bulgaria included in this project. We will start with the 30 protected areas in Romania, starting from the eastern part of the country. Marine Protected Area Doimai Vama Veke. A 5,000 hectares sandy cordon hidden by the sea waves which connects the village Doimai of the village Vamaveke is the one forming a marine protected area of European importance unique in Romania. The reserve protects 7 kilometers of coastal area in the form of a rectangle that extends off the coast. When we cross the shore between Doimai and Vamaveke, we are on the western edge of the reserve and the natural values of which the area has become protected are predominantly in the seawater.
calcareous rocks, sands and marshes shelter a sanctuary of plants and marine life. 110 species of microscopic algae, 120 species of marine invertebrates, 45 species of crustaceans, 117 species of fish, Tourists arriving in the area can also practice kite or water sports such as yachting or diving. For hikers, there is a path called Neptune's Trail which starts in Doimai and reaches Vamaveke. Hajien Kotuvoi Forest. Hajien Kotuvoi Forest is by definition a corner of Dobruja Eden, an area that has preserved its one time wilderness. About 15 kilometers from Mangalia, relatively close to the seaside but still not very accessible, lies a natural area of over 400 hectares. Calcareous plateaus of Sarmatian sediments, deep and steep valleys, rocky and stony slopes, steps and bushes with many spruce plants forming bushes difficult to pass through and in the central area of the standing water reserve with aquatic vegetation. A stretch of over 800 species of Mediterranean and Pontic herbs, the garden pink, the wild Romanian peony, the jasmine, the pruning, stipa penata or the grass with grey hair, the dwarf almond, the fluffy oak, the oriental hornbeam and the greyish oak are some of the most representative beauties of the area. The same plateau, however, is also host of the Dobruja turtle, the Studo Greca, the grass lizard, Podarsis taurica, the Caspian whip snake, Coluber caspius, or the horn viper, Vipera amodites. Mangalia and the water sulfurous springs. A true paradise for divers and scuba diving enthusiasts in Romania is undoubtedly the area of the underwater sulfurous springs in Mangalia. And we say that because it is the only place in Romania where the seagrass still grows, Zostera Nolti, but also the brown algae. Here you can also meet the delicate sea trout, an endangered species, but also the stone crab or greater pipefish both of which are vulnerable species. They are living creatures who adorn the area of the Mangalia sulfurous springs with elements that give it uniqueness. The protected area covers both a sandy part and the Black Sea underwater cliffs. The sulfurous underwater springs in Mangalia can also be found here, which have the same source as those that feed the balneary sanatorium of the former Galatis fortress, today's Mangalia. Without affecting in any way the environment, tourists who choose this area can practice diving and water sports, sailing or kayaking. Cap Aurora.
Cap Aurora is the smallest but also the youngest resort on the Romanian seaside, arranged on a special promontory, predominantly rocky. Its story begins in the communist era, when on July 1, 1973, the ten hotels named Agat, Coral, Crystal, Diamant, Granat, Onyx, Opal, Rubin, Sapphire and Topaz, but also the eight restaurants of the time were open to the public. The resort is located one kilometer from Jupiter and one kilometer from Venus and about five kilometers from Mangalia. It is considered by tourists a quiet area where you can sunbathe and swim in the sea, but especially can dive because the underwater landscape is very special. They will see the fine sandy shallow very rare habitats of high conservation value. Very important is also the fact that Cap Aurora site includes, besides the marine area, maritime islands, sandbanks and most spectacularly, numerous reefs built from shoals of mussels. These are the biogenic reefs of Mytilus gallo provincialis, whose habitat is located offshore between 30 and 45 meters deep. Costinesh, 23 August. Costinești 23 August is not only a destination for a successful holiday at the seaside, but also a site of community importance, Natura 2000. Here are valuable habitats such as reefs built from mussels, biogenic reefs of Mytilus gallo provincialis, but also about the strong clay groups where an interesting marine species of mollusks called Folas dactylus is found. Also worth mentioning are the three rare habitats of the Black Sea that we find in this site, namely coarse sands, fine gravels or shallow sand. These are the reasons why tourists passionate about the Black Sea biodiversity can make submersible incursions. Numerous crabs, jellyfish and fish will delight the venturers during diving. Many tourists recognize the 23 August beach as a wild sandy area. Beach stretches are little known and have a beauty still undamaged by the presence of man. As for Kostinej Resort, it has always been called the Youth Resort, but also the Resort of Fun, a renown it has gained since the communist era. Whoever chooses to come here will find abundant accommodation, but also plenty of possibilities to have fun. You can opt for water sports, water bike rides, sailing, kayaking, horse riding or ultralight airplane ride. Marine area from Cape Tuzla. An area with habitats of reefs, sandbanks and marsh areas not covered by the sea at reflux. This is the description of the marine area of Cape Tuzla. It includes the underwater rocky promontory of Cape Tuzla. Extremely interesting in this area is precisely the rocky bottom that has the highest depth, but also the most uneven relief in the Romanian Black Sea area. We find here, and not by accident, two mammals protected by law such as the sea pig and the common bottlenose dolphin. In the waters of the Tuzla marine area live the straight-nosed pipefish and the greater pipefish, the seahorse, the mackerel, the black scorpionfish and the sea dragon. Crabs or anemones can be seen very easily. Tuzla Beach is a beach particularly sought after by tourists eager to enjoy a seaside holiday. Lake Tekirgyol
Lake Tecrigiol is the largest saline lake in Romania, located on the Black Sea coast, south of Constanza. This fluvial marine shore is unique in Europe because it includes both salty waters and fresh waters that develop a remarkable biodiversity. The high salinity, as well as the wind that constantly disturbs the water of the lake, makes frost a rare phenomenon and the habitat is particularly attractive for migratory birds and an ideal place for aquatic birds. That is why here has been implemented a life project focused on protecting wintering conditions of the redneck goose, Branta ruficollis, one of the most rare species of planet's geese, nesting on the Tamir Peninsula in Siberia and predominantly hunting in the Dobroja area from Romania or Bulgaria. But the fame of the lake is given by the Sapropolic sludge that black gold and foul smell, which heals the rheumatic and inflammatory diseases along with salt water. Physicians say that 50% of patients arriving at the Tekirgyol spa bath or the wretch baths return home with their symptoms improved. The miraculous effects of sludge were testified 2000 years ago, in the time of the Roman soldiers. Even the legend of its name is given by old Tatar Tekir and his hurt donkey who have found the relief of suffering in the waters of Lake Tekirgyol, Lake of Tekir. Tourists who arrive at Tekirgyol can benefit not only from spa treatment, but also from bird watching sessions or practicing water sports, yachting, canoeing, kayaking, fishing. Marine Dunes from Ajija The unique marine dune reserve in Romania is located on a plateau of over 10 hectares in the marine biological resort Professor Dr. Ioan Bocha in Ajija, a Black Sea coastal settlement between Constanza and Euphoria. The sand dunes are fixed by a perennial herbaceous vegetation with bush trees and some trees including invasive species. There are also small areas with mobile and semi-mobile sands, which represent the habitat's treasures. This protecting natural area is a true corner of heaven for dozens of endemic plants that love salty sands. Alisum borzeanum grows here a very rare subendemic species present only in a few points in Romania, Bulgaria and Ukraine. Present on the red list of the International Union for Nature Conservation, having the status of plant threatened with extinction. And not only the alisum is carefully analyzed by the scientists, but also the morning glory or the shrub called Ephedra distachia. This is because the reserve is particularly important for studying and preserving floral diversity in Romania. Lake Sutgyol Lake Sutgyol has a privileged status. On the one hand, it guards the Constanza tourist city and, on the other hand, is bordering the resort of Mamaya, also known as the Fun Pole on the Romanian seaside. Lake Sutgyol has the title of Avifaunistic Special Protection Area, Natura 2000, not at all by chance. This lake complex, separated by the Black Sea through the sandy strip of Mamaya Resort, is the home of about 80 species of protected birds. Here, the red-footed falcon, pied whittier, tawny pipit, but also the red duck, Aithia niroca, the latter is on the verge of extinction. Also, the lake is a strategic point in the migratory period for the red-breasted goose, the great white pelican, the pygmy cormoran, the little gull, but also the sandwich tern. In cold winters, the black-headed gull, the black-necked grebe, the Eurasian coot, the common gull, the tufted duck and the common pochard find good living conditions here. Lake 
lovers of bird watching will be able to capture an impressive show of nature. And those who love water sports can practice windsurfing, yachting or water skiing. Let's not forget that the lake, connected to Constanza and Mamaya Resort, offers innumerable possibilities for accommodation. Lakes Tashaul Korbum The beauty of a lake in Dobroja, where the clouds of spring mornings can be unveiled or the sleepy birds from an October evening can be captured in unique photographs close to Novodar. The Lake Stashaul Korbu, the latter called Lake Gargaluk, together form a lake complex. Lake Tashaul is a maritime shore without having a direct connection with the Black Sea. Its shores appear as a cliff. Instead, Lake Korbu has banks formed largely from low yellow land deposits. In this lake complex, we encounter 82 bird species. Among them, we mention the common kingfisher, the grey heron, the red-breasted duck, the Kentish plover, the western osprey, the common spoonbill and the calandra lark. And not just bird-watching enthusiasts can be called lucky here, but also tourists in love with peace and freedom. Razim Sinoe Complex Turquoise waters, reeds, marshland and fish-rich lakes. We are talking about the lagoon complex Razim Sinoe, an area of approximately 863 square kilometers located in the southern part of the Danube Delta. In 2007, the Razim Sinoe area, made up of numerous freshwater lakes and maritime sandbanks, was declared the aviafonistic special protection area of European importance. Before the 1980s, Razim Lake communicated with the sea at the Gura Portice point. By the order of the former communist regime engineers, large hydropower works started here. The lagoon complex was separated into two distinct units, Razim and Sinoe. The two basins were used as reservoirs of fresh water, necessary for the development of Dobroja agriculture. Any connection with the Black Sea was closed by artificial interventions that radically changed the habitat of fish and birds. However, these days the protected area is populated with hundreds of bird species, some of them endangered, such as lag, red-breasted goose, pelicans and wild ducks. Dobruja Gorges One of the most picturesque and most appreciated places of Dobroja is the limestone waterfront that bears its name, Gorges of Dobroja. Researchers say they were formed during the Jurassic period and are considered the oldest rocks in Romania. Hundreds of millions of years ago, these lands have been covered by the waters of the Thetis Sea, so it explains why the rocks in Dobroja Gorges, with human faces, have rounded edges. The protected area stretches over 280 hectares and hosts plant species protected by law such as crocus, pheasant's eye or Dobrojan peony. Also, here are the dwarf oaks that scientists say it is hundreds of years old. We will also encounter sub-Mediterranean forest steppe and even steppe bushes. Also, in this protected area we will find the Dobroja turtle, the pond turtle and the blotched snake, none other than the four-strip serpent and also different species of bats.
Within the site, two caves of paleontological and archaeological value can be visited, La Adam Cave and Gura Dobroja Cave. The most important species nesting in the gorges of Dobroja are the stone curlew, the short-toed snake, eagle or the larks. More than 3,000 tourists come to visit all these nature's wonders each year. Fântânița Murfatlar For its sheer beauty, the Fântânița Murfatlar area has been protected since 1932. Located just a kilometer away from Murfatlar, it has over 80 hectares and is part of the Murfatlar forest that covers over 770 hectares. This area offers a landscaping show from spring to late autumn. The spring crocus, wild irises, mountain past flower, common bluebell, pheasant's eye, European feather grass, autumn saffron, and musk thistle give value to this area. Delicate plants are joined by trees of a special beauty. The Dorney oak, the Balkan oak, the greyish oak, as well as the oriental hornbeam, the smoke tree, the field maple and the Acer tartaricum are part of the reserve's collection. There are also two species of ferrets here, the step ferret and the marbled polecat. The family of rare animals is supplemented by small rodents the Romanian hamster. One of the species not belonging to the Fântânița Murfatlar site is none other than the Dobroja turtle, whose area of distribution in our country is limited to only a few points in the steppe of Dobroja. Dumbraveni Urluia Valley, like Vederoasa. Mysterious and wild are the ways of Dobrja. The Dumbraven Urluya Valley and Lake Vederoasa in Constanza County represent a unique natural mix in the world of over 18,000 hectares. Continental freshwaters, marshes and peatlands mix in dry meadows, forests and arable land. No hectare of this protected area resembles the other. Nature offers surprises at every step. There are also reptiles in the forests of Dumbraven, but you can also find endangered plant and animal species. Here is the Dobrojan blotch snake or the four-strip serpent, Elafe quatorlinata, the marbled polecat and the Dobrojan hamster. Of the plants, there are also some rare and very important species of preserving biological diversity, such as the common tomantil. Geomorphological landscapes are very attractive too, with hills, valleys, with permanent waters, meadows and cliffs. Kanarawa Feti, Yortmak Forest and Valley. When we say that Dobroja is a treasure of biodiversity, it's not at all an exaggeration. It is a proven reality with studies. For example, 27% of the whole flora of Romania is concentrated in a single point of the Danube Sea land. We are talking about the natural site Kanarawa Feti Jordmark Forest and Valley, a biodiversity laboratory. Representative habitats are caves, marshy areas, oak and hornbeam forests, and steppe. 
Researchers believe that the first early Christian monastery was in the Kanarawa Feti Caves. Between the 4th and the 7th centuries, the settlement lay on two overlapping levels, and the worship place was upstairs. In the second phase of habitation, the early medieval period, between the 9th and 11th centuries, the monks stood only on its ground floor. Moreover, three early Christian graves profaned in the 11th century have been discovered here. In this corridor, the archaeologists found coins from the time of Emperor Constantius II, the son of Constantine the Great. Interesting is the fact that the landscape of the limestone walls bordering the hills continues beyond the borders with Bulgaria. Cliffs of Danube In Romania, although it seems hard to believe, there are still virgin forests protected from any type of forestry intervention. They are rare, extremely precious, and some of them extend over the territory of Dobruja, more precisely in the Danube cliffs. The ecosystems here, both aquatic and terrestrial, well protected, have been enriched with plant species and animals, some of them endangered. The most important habitat in this site is the Salix alba and Populus alba forests. The habitat formed of marshes, peatlands, rivers, lakes and forests also hosts species of the national red list, including the Campanula romanica, a delicate purple flower growing only in Dobroja. The Borcha Arm The Borcha Arm, sinuous and about 100 kilometers long, is a bird's paradise. A short description, but including the sublime of this area. More than 20,000 birds are accommodated during the migration period of this Danube formed arm with lakes, marshes, peatlands, deciduous forests, and steppes. A mixture of abundant vegetation, color, and life. The area was declared an aviafonistic special protection area by government decision in October 2007. This title has been conferred to it mainly due to the presence of rare and unusually beautiful birds. The Levin Sparrowhawk, Lark, Great Reed Warbler, Moustache Warbler, Grey Heron, Long-Eared Owl, Common Pelican, Red-Breasted Goose, Blue Seagull or Squacko Heron are just a few of them. Borcha Arm is navigable, so tourists are invited to take a boat or a small ship trip. A sunrise or a sunset captured in this area can never be forgotten.
avifaunistic nature reserve Yezer Kalarash. Any enthusiast of nature, wild landscapes dominated by the most valuable birds should at least once in their life reach the Yeza Kalarash Avifonistic Nature Reserve. One will not regret it. In the 5,000 hectares, 500 of which are water only, many species of birds have found perfect conditions for nesting. The whooper swans, white storks, black sandwich tern, greater white fronted goose, red breasted goose, glossy ibis, purple heron, or ferruginous duck are just a few names in this paradise. In total, 92 species of birds are protected here. The area is also animated by singing birds such as the great reed warbler and the sedge warbler, the bearded reedling and the common reed bunting. On the surface of the lake, white and yellow water lilies provide a surprisingly colorful show. Komana Natural Park At an almost equal distance between Bucharest and Juju, Komana Natural Park can be found. It has an impressive area of over 24,000 hectares, of which 8,000 are forests and the rest of it means ponds, marshes, pastures and slopes. In other words, an ideal environment for special plants, birds and animals. Not accidentally, the decision to set up the natural park was adopted on the basis of the documentation developed since 1954 by members of the Romanian Academy. Everything was done to protect two unique floral areas in the world. It is about the scientific reserve of Butcher's Broom and the scientific peony reserve. These two reservations have been supplemented in 2004 with Balta Comana as nature reserve as well as an avifonistic protection area. According to experts, 141 species of birds live in Komana Natural Park, 71 of which are protected internationally, but also over 13 species of fish, some of them on the red list. We recall the Squalius cephalus, called the most fearful fish. Here also live the otter and the wild cat. Alt Danube Confluence
As a true land of abundance, the confluent area of the Old Danube hosts over 20,000 bird species annually during the migration. A huge number proving that there is a place with plenty of food and optimum conditions for nesting. For the Nycticorax, the grey-headed woodpecker, the middle-spotted woodpecker, the common kingfisher or pygmy cormorant, this is the house they need. The site is made up of a part of the Danube floodplain, but also from the lower part of the Olt River floodplain. It also includes the lakes Frunzaru, Izbicen and Ostrovo Mare. In addition to bird watching, tourists arriving here can relax by walking or recreational fishing. Radomir Forest. Another bird empire is found in Dolge County in the Radomir Forest, a special protection area Natura 2000. Hunting and bird watching enthusiasts find here the right place for exercise, rest in the glade, but also for pleasure. More than 1,500 tourists come to admire this corner of nature every year, protected from human intervention. In Radomir Forest we have 39 species of protected birds. We are talking about migratory birds, endangered at global or European level, who find favorable conditions for nesting in the Radomir Forest. The white stork, the little aigret, the whisker tern and the common tern are the stars of the area. They are also joined by the red-footed falcon, the ferruginous duck, the redback shrike and the lesser grey shrike. But Radomir Forest impresses not only with the abundance of birds but also with its trees. Unmistakable beauties are secular oaks. In the autumn, the old trees dress in pastel colors from a dark green to dark yellow. Oltec Valley On an area of 900 hectares, in the heart of the Wallachian Plain, lies the area of national interest Oltec Valley. Because it has several classes of habitats, meadow forests, beaches, meadows and fields with fauna and flora typical for the Wallachian Plain, this area was declared to be a protected area in 2004 by a government decision. Iris pseudacorus, black alder, white willow and white poplar are species that make this place unique. An endemic species of Dianthus, Dianthus trifasciculatus, with discreetly colored petals, fragile but still climate resistant, was another important reason for the area to be protected. Besides the deer, wild boars, foxes and rabbits, here we can meet the lesser horseshoe bat, the Romanian loach, an endemic species of the Oltec Valley, the spined loach, the eel, the European fire-bellied toad, the great crested newt.
Jiu Corridor. Corridor where nature has perfected its work or the Jiu Corridor. On a length of 260 kilometers, we encounter a mosaic of aquatic areas, areas with meadows, marshes and peatlands and virgin forests of rare beauty. The area we are talking about is situated along the middle and lower course of the Jiu River and is 129 kilometers long. Jiu Corridor is one of the main migratory corridors of birds and we say this because over 30% of all bird species in Romania have been identified here. Ground squirrels and otters are also two species of mammals that can be easily seen in their habitat. It will not be too hard to see the amphibians and reptiles that enjoy the ideal living conditions in this area. Tourists can practice recreational fishing, bird watching and relaxing hiking. Nature is in its element here. You will also encounter forest areas in which the sensation will be that no one has ever been there before you. More than 80,000 tourists come annually in Zhu Corridor for a holiday in the middle of nature. National Park Domogled, Cherna Valley. Adventure and nature lovers, always looking for landscapes and spectacular trails, should not go to the end of the earth to find them. It is enough to reach Mehedin's National Park Domogled, Cherna Valley. Here is the heaven of flowers, of secular trees, of birds and wild animals. The park has a total of 20 approved hiking trails and a further 14 approved routes. You will discover the beauty of the wild valley of Tesna and the Tesna Gorges. This is a geological, floral, faunistic and landscaping reserve where you will find a canyon dedicated to extreme sports enthusiasts. Another remarkable reserve, a real treasure for botanists, is Stanspeak. You will be fascinated by the beauty of beech forests whose trees are over 200 years old. The main protected plants of the national park, some of them endemic, are Visia truncatula, Tragopogon balcanicus, Cerastium banaticum, Lamium bitinicum, Linum uninerv, Primula veris, or Hypericum rochelli. The approximately 1500 species of butterflies, some of them living only in Domogled National Park Cherna Valley, are added to the above. Mehedin's Plateau Geopark More than 100,000 hectares. This is the extent of the Mehedin's Plateau Geopark, an area declared protected in Romania by a government decision since 2004. It is a place where nature was a skillful craftsman, working on Jurassic crystalline schists, on rare cast geological formations, such as the Bridge of God, but also on the caves, valleys, gorges and limestone pavements of the most spectacular.
In this blessed area, we meet several natural protected areas, including Ponoarele Karst Complex, Ponoarele Lilac Forest, Cornetul Bălții, Topolnița Gorges, and Topolnița Cave, Cornetul Văi, and the Monastery Valley, Calcarus Walls from Coșuste Springs, Epuran Cave, but also one of the most interesting underwater caves in the world, Izverna Cave. In total, the Geopark has 10 approved tourist routes, with the help of which the tourists are led through the most spectacular karst and mountain landscapes. Natural Park. Grandiose, with the most diverse forms of relief, guarded by mountains and bathed by the Danube, the second largest natural park in the country, Iron Gates Natural Park, lies here. Its area with over 110,000 hectares, enough to cover together conifer woods, boreal forests, rocks, swamps and meadows. Not less than 70 habitats found here are on the red list. Therefore, the park is considered to be of national and international importance. Here is the narrowest part of the Danube. The relief forms alternate surprisingly with limestone pavements, valleys, caves and abysses. Of the endemic flowers for this area, we mention Tulipa hungarica, the European cornel, the milk vetch, and the bellflower. Also, as an element of uniqueness, are the bats from the veteran cave. In these wild landscapes, we can see the bear and the wild boar. Also, reptiles are not hard to find. Herman's tortoise, the horned viper, and the European green lizard are some of them. In the park's waters, we find the wheat deer, the European chub, the common barbel, and the vimba bream. But also, the only sturgeon in the area, the sterlet. As a plus to this paradise, there is also a souvenir left by the man's hand, the largest sculpture in Europe the Chabal's face carved in rock. The park has 16 signposted trails in four thematic parts. On the way, you can also visit the Iron Gates Hydropower Museum, where you can discover the history of this paradise place. Vujumare. The Vinjumare site in Mehedins County should be considered a sacred place, sanctified by its secular forests. Vinjuluimado and Fulga are the two forests where the elm, the Cecil oak, the oak and the hornbeam have been the silent guards for centuries. The stag beetle and the great Capricorn beetle are the emblem insects of these forests. Visitors to the site can enjoy relaxing hours, breathe fresh air and take photos of the unique landscapes. Every year in October, Vunjumare village organizes the Vine and Wine Festival. One more reason to visit on this occasion, the Orevitsa Mare and Vunjumare wine cellars. Blachnica.
Since October 24, 2007, the Blachnica site in Mehedinsk County, with an area of over 40,000 hectares, has earned its title of Natura 2000 Avifaunistic Special Protection Area. It is the place where many bird species, many of them on the brink of extinction, have found optimal living conditions. The Eurasian Sparrowhawk, the Common Sandpiper, the Lark, the Sedge Warbler, the Ferruginous Duck, the Eurasian Hobby and the Common Reed Bunting are among these. It is a site where aquatic ecosystems are complemented by terrestrial ones. More precisely, there are rivers, lakes, swamps, wetlands, grassland and forests. But Blachnica site also includes other protecting natural areas, such as Styrmina Forest, Giana and Bunjet Forest, a beautiful oasis open to everyone. Danube at Grla Mare Maglavit The ground squirrel, the European pond turtle and the Eurasian otter are the protagonists who managed to give Grla Mare Maglavit from the Danube Dolch County the title of a site of European importance Natura 2000. It is an area that harmoniously combines the part of land, forests and pastures with swamps and wetlands. Here we will also meet Bombina Bombina, the European fire-bellied toad. Tourists arriving in this area can enjoy, in addition to hiking or bird watching, excursions to nearby localities. At the fortress takes place annually in August the film festival, and at the fortress cultural port, the fisherman's museum can be visited. Extremely interesting is also the mulberry plantation of Alexandru Iwan Kusa, as well as sand dunes with a special vegetation. Chuperchen Desa Another corner of heaven of Romania is the ornithological reserve in the Chuperchen Desa area, Dolch County. Since 1971, it has been declared a protected area and the reasons are easy to understand. The area protected by law has an area of 2,000 hectares. More than 120 species of birds, some endangered, live in this area that offers them abundant food and a perfect place for nesting. The natural area Chuperchen Desa lies exactly in the floodplain area of the Danube floodplain. The reserve also includes Balta Lata, Balta Negre and the Churumela forest. Here we also find huge hedgehogs whose trunks reach diameters of about 80 centimeters. Their height sometimes exceeds 35 meters. However, Salix alba and Populus alba habitats were the ones that played a decisive role in designating the site as being of community importance Natura 2000. We should not forget the birds that make this place to be unique and which are extremely beautiful. The white stork, the black stork, the little egret, the roof, the purple heron, 
the black winged stilt or the glossy ibis. It is also interesting to note that the Chupercendissa site remained undammed, the only place in the Danube floodplain that is preserved this way. We will cross the Danube and continue with the 30 protected areas in Bulgaria starting from the western part of the country. The Park of Vidin Vidin, one of Bulgaria's most important Danube ports, is a place where nature's beauty and historical objectives create strong points of tourism development. When we say history, we refer first and foremost to the medieval fortress Baba Vida, extremely well preserved. Tourists who arrive at this destination will have the impression that the time stood in place without touching this massive stone structure. Also in the western part of the town is the Park of Vidin, a protected Natura 2000 area approximately 475 hectares with deciduous forests, linden tree, ash tree, sycamore maple, elm, limestone trees and thermophilic beech forests, sheltering approximately 20 protected species. Magra Cave and Lake Rabisha Magra Cave, located in northwestern Bulgaria, at a distance of approximately 25 kilometers from Belogradchik, was formed in the limestone hill Rabisha, 461 meters above the sea level. It is made up of a main gallery plus three additional ones of huge size, approximately 2,500 meters long, making it one of the largest caves in Bulgaria. In 1960, Mogura Cave has been declared a tourist attraction, being naturally decorated with stalactites, stalagmites and rare formations. In the cave you can find small accumulations of water due to drops of constantly falling water, four bat species, but especially prehistoric murals, deemed to be the most significant works of art in the European post-Paleolithic, the oldest of the over 750 drawings made using fossilized guano in the cave date back to 8000 BC. The drawings are hunting scenes, mythological scenes, different rituals, but also sexual scenes. Let's also return to Rabisha, the largest inland lake in Bulgaria, among the seven in the country. It is of tectonic origin, Although it has long been believed to have a cast origin, a local legend says that this lake would have no bottom and that in its waters the salmons could reach 300 kilograms.
Belogradchik Rocks. The Belogradchik Rocks in Bulgaria are said to have formed 230 million years ago while the land was still covered with water. When the water retreated, bizarre rock formations remained, rocky conglomerates ranging in color from red to yellow. They reach heights of 200 meters and stretches over more than 50 square kilometers. Declared a monument of nature in 1949, these rocks in strange shapes have appropriate names and are surrounded by legends that deserve to be discovered. The Belogradchik rocks, along with the Belogradchik fortress, which incorporates the rocks in its defense system, are the main tourist attractions of the city. The fortress is one of the best preserved fortresses in Bulgaria and is a cultural monument of national importance. Thousands of tourists come to see the wonders of nature named Adam and Eve, Madonna, Camilla, the Darvish or the Rider. Western Balkan Mountains and the Pre-Balkan The chain of Balkan Mountains has a length of approximately 560 kilometers, starting from the border of Serbia with Bulgaria and going east through central Bulgaria to Cape Emine in the Black Sea. It is guarded in the northern part to the Danube Plain by the Pre-Balkans and in the south it is bordered by the Sub-Balkan Valleys The 30 mountains are divided into Western, Central and Eastern Balkans and the highest peaks are located in a central part. Botev Peak, for example, it has 2,376 meters. The Western Balkan mountains stretch from Vraška Chuka at the border with Serbia to the Arabakonak Pass with a total length of 190 kilometers. The highest peak is Mijor and measures 2,169 meters. Natural Park Vrachansky Balkan The Natural Park Vrachansky Balkan, the second largest natural park in Bulgaria, includes Mount Vrachanska and the massive of Lakatnishki rocks. It has about 29,000 hectares with geomorphological formations and create a wild and unique image in the world. As far as the eye can see, a stretch in which the wild nature is imply breathtaking. There are many tourist routes that can be found here. The ecotourism passes through the Vratsata Pass, the symbol of Vratsa along the gorges of Leva River and reaches the picturesque village of Zgorigrad. Vertical rocks of Mount Vrachanska, tall of about 400 meters, are one of the most popular climbing destinations in Bulgaria. Here you can experience over 140 routes with varying degrees of difficulty. Music 
In October 1993, the park was declared a protected area of international importance in order to preserve both the karst relief and the unique fauna existing here. Among the most interesting species are birds of prey but also vertebrates or bats from over 500 caves. For example, Ledenica cave is one of the most beautiful and visited in Bulgaria. Karlukovsky cast Prochodna cave is the most famous tourist attraction in Karlukovsky Karst, one of the largest karst regions in Bulgaria, famous for speology. It is easy to reach from the village of Karlukovo, even if the area is hilly with habitats specific to the karst areas. It is one of the most beautiful and famous caves in Bulgaria thanks to the two cavities in the vault formed by the erosion and named by the locals God's Eye or Devil's Eye. It is certain that viewed from a certain angle, they resemble a human face that looks down and weeps. The mystery of this natural phenomenon is the reason why many Bulgarian and even international films have been filmed here. Formed during the Quaternary, Prohodna Cave, a word meaning passage in Bulgarian, has a length of approximately 262 meters, tall walls and two ample sumptuous entrance. The small one has approximately 35 meters high and the big one approximately 45 meters. Amazement, enthusiasm or mysticism. You're going through all your feelings in front of the giant eyes and that makes the cave to be treasured by adventure enthusiasts, alpinism, climbing or even bungee jumping. Божият мост и пещерата по нора. Огромната изваяна скала Божият мост в България се основава на природен феномен. Това е представлението на природата, което можете да видите само в Карстовия район Чирен Лилече, един от най-атрактивните туристически райони в България, с водите, които са изкопали невероятни образования. Хората не могат да обяснят как се е появила тази грандиозна каменна архитектура, така че са я нарекли Божия мост на този естествен мост над реката Лиляска. Височината му е приблизително 20 метра, а ширината 25 метра. Понякога през сухите месеци на годината реката пресъхва и има само няколко локви, пълни с жаби. Близо до Чирен се намира и пещерата Понора, пещера скрита в долина, с вход покрит с дива изобилна растителност, като фуния, в която тече дъждовната вода. Водите, които се извали пещерата и са формирали впечатляващи кухини, все още текат през галериите. Понора е една от най-големите пещери в България, с галерии с дължина над 3,5 км, през която минава подземна река, което я прави изключително привлекателна за пещерните водолази, истинските изследователи на дълбоките карстови пространства.
Archar Ursoia. Located in the western plain of the Danube, Archar Orsoya is a protected area including low flood plains of the Danube, the surrounding sandy hills reaching 80 to 90 meters altitude, islands with virgin forests and marshy areas, with vegetation dominated by cane and bulrush, open water areas or wet meadows. We have on the one hand the Archar River Valley with an area of 5 square kilometers, which often flooded before the construction of the protective dam in Osoiskata area, a former marsh located east of the lower course of the Skomlia River with an area of 32 square kilometers consisting of alluvial deposits. The area was drained and the land is currently used for agriculture. The two areas have recently been preserved due to the unique habitats but also to the approximately 50 species protected. Tourists who come here can hike in nature, admire splendid landscape, especially birds. Sibar Island Sibar Island is located on the Bulgarian bank of the Danube between river kilometers 716 and 719. It has an area of 1.3 square kilometers and is classified as Natura 2000 site due to rare and valuable habitats of plants, animals and birds. Almost entirely, it is covered by mixed oak and ash forests. Sibar Island is also known for one of Bulgaria's largest heron and cormorant colonies. It is a place of global importance for the nesting of the pygmy cormorant, Phala crocorax pygmeus, and white-tailed eagle, Haliaetus albicilla, and one of the most important places in Bulgaria for nesting of several species of heron, Nycticorax nycticorax, Ardeola raloides, and common spoonbill, Platalea leucorodia. In 1997, it was declared an important aviafonistic area by BirdLife International Organization and in 2002 a Ramsar site according to the International Convention for the Conservation of Wetlands. Kozlodui Gornitsibar The Kozlodui protected area is a steep slopes of loose between the city of Kozlodui and the village of Gornitsibar. The heights are covered by steppe vegetation, some endemic species being also present. Here are the Koslodui Islands, which have 70% forest habitat, although the western part of the island is extremely sandy. One thing worth mentioning and considering is that access to the area is restricted because of the security area around the Koslodui nuclear power plant. Starting from the Kozlodui Park with the museum ship Radetsky as landmark, you can take a stroll along the Danube on foot or with a kayak. 
The area is also ideal for fishing. Ostrov Ostrovska Step Vadin Protected areas Ostrov and Ostrovska Step Vadin are located in the western plain of the Danube and include both low flooded terraces and high loss terraces on the southern bank of the Danube, terraces stretching between the villages of Ostrov and Vadin, Bulgaria. If you stop on one of these high terraces, you will see a beautiful panorama of the Danube and you will be able to admire the diverse scenery, steppe vegetation, arable lands, gardens, marshes and forests piled along the river bank. Moreover, not only trekking enthusiasts will be extremely pleased, but also those who appreciate the wines. In 2002, a revitalization project on wine production on the southern bank of the Danube began. Studenets. The Studenets protected area near the village of Sadovets in Bulgaria is an area of great importance for the preservation of the 137 flora and fauna species, forests and karst formations, eutrophic caves and lakes. Although access to the habitat is not at all easy, what you will discover once you reach the water level, it will be worth the effort. The land is simply a dream, a true corner of heaven far from the urban rhythm where only the rapid waters of the Vit River kept the time. Otherwise, full silence, pure and wild nature, long abandoned ruins and paths that are lost in the brush. It's hard to translate into words the experience of such a corner of the universe. Vit River. The affluent of the Danube with a length of approximately 189 kilometers, Vit River flows through a protected area that bears its name near the town of Pleven, Bulgaria. The area includes marshes, 
alluvial forests and the steppe vegetation on the hills where it dug its bed. Hiking in the hills surrounding the river is not bad either. The view from above is simply spectacular. The preserved area is renowned for the fish fauna with no fewer than 45 species protected. Perhaps the heavy access helps the habitat conservation. For a full aquatic experience, a kayak or canoe tour is recommended. Caraboas The Caraboas protected area, which extends to approximate 137 square kilometers, includes sand dunes and alluvial sediments distributed only in floodplain areas along the Danube. Unfortunately, most of the dunes have been ploughed and cultivated and the specific flora has been destroyed due to agricultural activities, urbanization or illegal sand extractions. Also, cattle grazed in this area, contributing to the degradation of the area. Among the rare and protected species are Centaurea arenaria, Allium angulosum, Tragopogon, endemic to the Danube River Basin. For conservation purposes, Caraboas area was included in the European Ecological Network program Natura 2000 Bulgaria. Persina Natural Park With an area of approximately 22,000 hectares, Persina Natural Park is unique for Bulgaria. Although set up relatively recently in 2000, it is the only natural park on the Danube for the preservation and restoration of wetlands on the Danube. Its uniqueness and importance have been the reasons why it was declared a Ramsar site with large flooded forests and inland marshes decorated with specific vegetation.
Also here we find impressive colonies of cormorants, terns, gulls, herons, ducks and geese. It is also worth mentioning that there are excellent conditions for the life of mute swans or black storks. Last but not least, over 1,000 species of animals live in the forest dominated by willow trees and poplars. Ostrov Vardim Vardim Island or Ostrov Vardim is the third largest Bulgarian island on the Danube after Belene and Kozlodui. It is near the Svistov commune, the Veliko Ternovo region, near the mouth of the Yantra river in the Danube. Much of its surface is covered by wild forests with endangered tree and plant species. This island is a true sanctuary in which nature has preserved its beauty untouched by the hand of man. Here we also meet 75 bird species of rapacious beauty. Landscapes are a perfect source of inspiration for professional photographers, but especially for nature lovers. Reka Studena, Fish Ponds Haji Dimitrovo. The protected areas of Reka Studena and Haji Dimitrovo lie on approximately 53 square kilometers and include hills with steppe vegetation, marshes and former fish ponds. Hundred and sixteen species of birds, of which thirty-three on the red list of endangered species in Bulgaria, are accommodated in the small paradise here, lost among agricultural lands. The diversity of the landscapes is remarkable. From the height of the hills to waters, the abundant conditions for life are abundant. Mammals, amphibians, fish, plants. Tourists arriving in the area can walk through the ecotourism routes along which they can see bird species or rare plants. Reka Yantra The longest tributary of Danube in Bulgaria, 285 kilometers, come from far away. It springs from the peak of Haji Dimitar, from the Balkan mountains, Stara Planina. The Yantra River itself is a protected area that bears its name. Over seven kilometers of spectacular canyons it forms in the pre-Balkans and its voyage to the Danube near Veliko Tyrnovo brought its fame. But 
the area flowing into the Danube is not inferior either. Steppe vegetation, marshes, alluvial forests, and eutrophic lakes. All these form unique natural habitats which are of particular importance for the conservation of the species here. Yantra River is so popular among both rowers and tourists who only want to admire the wild landscapes of the area. Veliko Tyrnovo Veliko Tyrnovo, the medieval capital of Bulgaria, is a charming and picturesque town located at approximately 100 kilometers from the town of Ruse. It is located on the Yantra River and is often called the City of the Tsars because it was the historic capital of the Second Bulgarian Empire. It is one of the oldest cities in Bulgaria and its historical center stretches over three hills – Tsaravets, Trapezitsa and Svetagora – and includes fortresses that shelter royal and patriarchal palaces, towers and imposing bridges and so on. From an architectural point of view, visitors can make a trip in the past. Along the craft streets, they have the opportunity to see stepped houses built 200 years ago. Rusenski Lom Nature Park Located near Ruse, Rusenski Lom Natural Park has an area of approximately 3,408 hectares, of which forests represent over 80%. The park hosts one of the most spectacular canyons in Europe with calcareous and wild walls, which hide an impressive natural collection of plants, including orchids, iridaces, and also animals, some of them being extremely rare. More specifically, in the park there are approximately 900 species of plants, dozens of them represented by trees, shrubs, and lianas. The mixture of steppe and sub-Mediterranean vegetation impresses. The same happens with the areas of old oaks and hornbeams. The park is a true paradise for birds, with about 200 species found here. Karstig relief creates ideal conditions for birds nesting on the rock. The imperial eagle, the Egyptian eagle, the falcon or the owl. Those who want to go hiking in the area, especially with canoe or bicycle, will admire a unique landscape. Rusenski Lom Natural Park is part of UNESCO heritage a place where nature has reached the upper limits of beauty. Kalimok Brashlen Kalimok Brashlen could be called the most valuable natural treasure in Bulgaria, being also the largest protected area in this country. It has not less than 5,770 hectares between Babovo and Tutrakan. They are joined by all the islands in this part of the Danube. 
If we think of the 240 species of birds found here, but especially of the over 130 who nest here, we can say that Kalimok brushland region is a true paradise, with marshes, rushes and abundant food for them. Also, in this abundance territory we find 14 species of reptiles. It's an ecosystem where they find ideal conditions for breeding and feeding, just like all the other birds and animal species. The landscape of this valuable area is also supplemented by the rare plants growing in the saturated lands of the site. It is an area that offers to nature enthusiasts a peculiar image, but also the guarantee that there are still paradise corners on the planet's surface, unaltered by the presence of man. Posharevo Garavan The Posharevo Garvan protected area is located near the village of Posharevo and includes marshes as well as islands covered with willow tree and white poplar forests, which the Danube floods each spring. The importance of the area is an ornithological one and is given by the fact that the endangered species such as the pygmy cormorant nest here. Srebarna Nature Reserve The Srebarna Nature Reserve is so rich that many named it the other Danube Delta, which is much smaller but with a breathtaking biodiversity. It has an area of approximately 600 hectares and is located on one of the main bird migration routes. Here's why it hosts about 200 species of birds. Pelicans, aigrettes, white storks or hawks live here in great numbers. They are joined by the 45 species of mammals, 22 species of amphibians and reptiles, 20 species of fish and over 300 species of plants, some of them a rarity in Europe. The lake has been called a natural reserve since 1948 for the abundance of plants, birds and animals to be protected. Suha River Suha Reha is one of the most mysterious areas in Bulgaria. Valley of Suha Reha starts from Romania from Kanarawa Feti Valley and continues in Bulgaria. The valley was once crossed by a large water stream. Some say that there was once an arm of the ancient Danubius. The landscape features vertical limestone walls printed with fossils, 
but we can also find caves or chimneys. Many called it the Mecca of wildlife, an enclave of biodiversity and of places of worship carved in rocks. The canyons are surrounded by deciduous forests, steppe areas and agricultural land. The habitat accommodates about 200 species of birds, many of them endangered. Batova River, Baltata Near the resort of Albena, at the mouth of the Batov River in the Black Sea, lies the Baltata Nature Reserve, a wonderful area protected by law. Although it has approximately 200 hectares, this space is a blessing for body and soul. Experts say that the air here is rich in iodine, bromine and fluorine, giving those who reach the area a portion of health. In the reserve forests, elm and ash trees are truly kings but over 260 plant species grow there, out of which 28 are protected. The summer snowflake is representative of the wild lands. To all these shall be added 16 species of fish, four included in the Red Book of Bulgaria, such as the Atherina and the Spined Loach, but the Roach is the most numerous. Golden Sands Nature Park A tourist resort in the middle of a nature reserve surrounded by forests as far as the eye can see. Here is an interesting combination found only in Golden Sands, a natural park located only 17 kilometers northeast of the city of Varna. In 1943, the area was declared protected, without anyone imagining that in only a few years, here will be one of the most famous resorts on the Bulgarian coast. The routes you can go through within the park take a few hours and start at the Tourist Visitor Center and are optimized for children, people with disabilities or visually impaired people. And this is not all. In the lush vegetation forest, you will discover a medieval monastery the Alaza Monastery, in fact, a complex of medieval Christian Orthodox monasteries carved in rocks in a 25-meter-high cast hill. The ensemble is structured on several levels. The energy of the place is special.
Even the wooded hills around the monastery known as Hachuka, Mount of the Cross, are considered by the locals to be sacred. Balchik Botanical Garden The Botanical Garden of Balchik belongs to the castle of Queen Mary of Romania. It was built and arranged immediately after the end of the castle's erection at the initiative of Her Majesty, a great beauty enthusiast. The Swiss Jules Janin, the chief gardener of Russian Emperor Nikolai II, was the one who designed this unique garden, arranged on about 16 hectares. It is set on a steep hill that descends to six terraces to the sea, and each terrace is heaven itself. More than 3,000 plant species grow in the Queen Mary's garden, many of which are exotic plants such as the paper tree, ginkgo biloba, meta sequoia, sand lily, roses, and other endangered species. Impressive is also the collection of large cacti protected in a large greenhouse. Gardens Alley lead tourists step to Queen Mary's Castle, a place of fairy tale, bathed by the sea and the sun's rays a building that impresses with the elegance of simplicity and good taste. Kaliakra Complex One of Bulgaria's jewels is certainly the Kaliakra Natural Reserve, translated as Beautiful Cape. The protected complex has an area of about 700 hectares, including an aquatic area. We are talking, therefore, about the rocky small peak, long of nearly 2 kilometers, that rises above the sea, but also of the surrounding waters, where there is a remarkable biodiversity. No matter what the season you get here, the scenery impresses you. The many rare plants and collectible birds that find here the best condition for living invite nature lovers, especially ornithologists and biologists, to know them. In the wild landscape we can also find reptiles, rabbits or deer. History lovers can also visit Kaliakra, a settlement built in the 4th century BC, around which several legends grew, including that of a young virgin, Kaliakra, who thrown herself into the sea by the fear of the Turks. Shabla Lake Ezeretz.
Shabla Lake is the home of over 100,000 wild geese housed in this area where they find optimal conditions for nesting. Shabla Salt Lake and Bulgaria's easternmost point, Shabla Cape, is bordered by the resort with the same name, a tourist spot located 5 km from Kavarna and 24 km from the border with Romania. The Shabla Natural Reserve was declared protected in 1995. In over 5,300 hectares, the biodiversity is remarkable. The reserve has as its central point the lake of the same name, where there are 23 species of fish. Seven of them are included in the Red Book of Bulgaria as endangered species. Anyone who arrives at Shabla will make a journey in time among the ruins of a fortress dating back to the 4th century. You will also discover the Shabla Lighthouse, built during the Crimean War and inaugurated on July 15, 1856. Duran Kulak Lake. Lake Duran Kulak, a natural paradise with an area of 350 hectares, is the northernmost natural coastal lake in Bulgaria. Its wealth of plants and animals has led the specialist to register it on the Ramsar list of wetlands of world interest and to be recognized as a reference ornithological area. Both scientists from all over the world and nature and photography enthusiasts come to admire and study the beauties of Lake Duran Kulak. Here, 260 species of rare or endangered plant and animal species are protected. We only remember the red-breasted goose, a threatened species that finds favorable winter conditions in this area with brackish water. We must also remember the steppe vegetation, but also the numerous plants specific to the marsh areas, such as reed, rush or water lily. Some say that Duran Kulak Lake is a true natural laboratory in which beauties from the beginning of the world still exist. These are the 60 natural areas in Romania and Bulgaria included in the project Development and Promotion of a Common Natural Heritage Product, aiming to increase the sustainable use of the common natural resources in the Romania-Bulgaria border area through development of a common natural heritage product. The protected natural heritage within the cross-border area Romania-Bulgaria route. Sixty extraordinary areas between the Carpathians and the Balkans along the Danube River. We invite you to explore them and discover them on their own. <laughs> 